welcome to my youtube channel um so this is an update on my ten dollar challenge uh for a while now i've not been uh up, i've not actually it's been a long time since i upload a video on that my ten dollar challenge and let me just say this quickly um the reason is because i'm a swing trader so i don't i don't trade often okay for a whole week i may not get an entry i may not get a trading signal and i won't trade for a whole week so it happens like that so that's the reason why you won't see me upload uh, up, uh, uh give updates on that particular asset and or sometimes when i see entry it may be when i'm unable to record my phone so uh i want you to bear with me but today episode three of that particular uh, uh video uh, update on that account i will be uploading it uh, it's what i will be showing right now so let's get to my computer screen and let me show you brief updates on the account then the trade i'm in right now and why i am trading those uh taking those trades all right uh but before but before we go to but before you watch the next video which is my my phone screen there is something i want to say uh if you on that video i actually took trade on on uh what's it called on crude oil i actually traded crude oil let me say this uh, clearly if you are you are trying to grow an account just like the way i'm doing right now please don't trade crude oil okay don't trade crude oil unless you know what you are doing don't even think about trading crude oil because a single trade on crude oil can wipe that account out okay don't trade crude oil and i know most majority of you will still be asked okay why are you not trading crude oil on the account is because first of one I am sure of the trade to some extent. Okay, I'm not saying that I'm sure that it's going to be my direction, but at least I am seventy percent sure. That's the first thing. The second thing is, this is just a small account. I'm just trying to show you the possibility of growing an account. So that is the that is the second reason. So now the last thing I want to say briefly is the fact that you should not be in haste when you are growing an account. As you can see. Uh, this ten dollar account now. You can if you you can check my first video uh, on that on this challenge. You see, since I've been trying to, uh, you will see that uh, even though it's not long, uh, it's not long time ago. I don't think it's up to two weeks or three weeks now. Uh -huh. But the reality is, what I just want you to understand is that don't be in haste to turn that to to to, to turn a small account to one thousand, five thousand account. Take things very slow. Okay. So uh, that being said, let me take you to my computer screen. And if you want to join my mentorship class, check my bio. You will see my link there, my Telegram, my IG link. Send me a DM, all right? And don't forget to like and subscribe to this video if you want to become successful uh, in trading. So let's go to my other screen and see the updates. And then let me show you other trades that I'm taking and why I'm in those trades, uh, everything, all right? Okay, so this is my phone screen, and uh, the last time I, the last time I trade, okay, last time I traded, um, I I tried to sell Euro USD, AUD USD, and I lost all the all the trade. However, uh, Nasdaq and US thirty, um, I think I I exit the trade uh, for 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 some reasons. And I also try to, I also try to uh, sell BTC, but I also existed, uh, exist the trade for some reason, because I didn't actually finish, uh, I, I I didn't actually let the trade run. But for AUD, USD, and Euro USD, I tried to sell them, must have lost more than profit. So, and uh, since then I didn't have enough uh, opportunity. Like I didn't have, what's it called? I, I have not seen good entry. And because I trade on four hours, so it do takes time before I see a uh, trade to take. So, uh, but right now, let's just look at what uh, currently what is actually going on with the account. So, um, if we come to today, I actually withdrew my ten dollar today. Okay, as you can see, I um, withdraw minus ten dollar. I actually will do ten dollars today. So, um, let's just look at the trade that is actually running now, shall? Okay, so. As you can see right now, I uh, this this balance was not forty one dollar before. When I lose that AUD USD and this thing, the, uh, my account was around forty or fifty something dollar, uh, or something like that, sir. But when I lost those, uh, when I lost AUD trade and other trade, the account dropped back to twenty something dollar. So, but this week I took 
trade on gold. Uh, I sorry, on I took trade on oil. Okay, as you can see, oil see here, and that oil brought the account back up, uh, back to fifty something. That was why I was able to withdraw that this ten dollar that you see. Uh, sorry, uh, this ten dollar that you see here. I just said that okay, the ten dollar that I put into this channel, let me remove it out. Okay, so I removed the ten dollar, as you can see. So I was left with forty one. So um, now I'm I'm buying oil, as you can see, oil I'm floating about twenty five dollars now. I'm buying oil seventy dollar, floating seventy dollar now. I'm buying Nasdaq and U.S. stock. Um, buying uh, all this uh, U.S. stock now, all this basket of stock indices, all this Nasdaq and this thing is actually risky based on... Anyways, we will talk more about this trade later. Okay, I will take you to my computer screen and show you why I'm buying this trade, why it's also risky to be buying uh, 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 all these indices, but not too bad. You, you can... Uh, U.S. oil, yeah, I don't have problem with that. That one. I will, I will tell you more about this trade, why I'm buying this trade right now, all right? But that being said... Uh, that is the update on the accounts right now. So let me just take you to my computer screen and show you why I'm buying this trade and why you should be careful if you are buying stocks or if you are trying to buy uh, uh, crypto as well. All right. So yeah, let's go to my computer screen and let me show you this trade that is asset, why it enter and why you should be careful if you are trading this time around. Let's just look at uh, S&P 500 and NASDAQ first before we dive into uh, good uh, oil, the reason I'm buying good oil. So starting with S&P 500, the first thing is I want us to understand something that when you analyze or when you tend to take a trade, you don't just look at the technical analysis alone. You also want to consider the fundamental analysis. Okay. So first of all, fundamentally, okay, what I notice is that um, fundamentally, what I notice is that uh, fundamental analysis, what I notice is that um the interest rate the interest rate is being reduced and when there is interest rate it means businesses will be able to take loan and um, when there is when business are able to take loan this kind of encourage uh people to be able to grow their business to be able to do well and then that uh invariably uh tends to have uh positive impact on the economy because it also it also help um reduce uh, uh, like help us uh increase uh, employment rate and all those kind of things so uh, uh interest rate being reduced means that business are probably going to do well because they will be able to access capital at a cheaper or at a small in, uh, rate so all these things the fact that the fed is trying to uh reduce interest rates uh signifies that uh market is also, market is also going to market is going to do well however there is a tension going on in the middle east now uh the israel and iran fight and all those kind of things that i think is having uh some uh that, that i believe is going to have some impact on the uh, stock market but i don't think it's going to have significant impact on the stock market like uh the way it's going to have impact on crude oil uh or, or good or so uh okay so but that being said that is uh so uh, the fact that i have uh the interest rate is being reduced shows that uh uh the stocks are likely to do better companies are likely to report good earnings and do better okay so uh that is my fundamental view and i believe that is going to help the stock to perform well but now talking about technical analysis if you look at uh s p 500 for a long time it has been trending to the upside to the outside but recently it breaks the all-time high uh the all-time high i'm making reference to this particular area okay it breaks this recently it breaks this high this is the all-time high okay this is the higher time this is weekly let me bring it to monthly time frame so that you can see it very well you can see this is uh the highest point before now it has gone above it okay if you look back in, in time you will see that is uh you can see where it is all right so now that the market is there now that the market is there um let me come back to weekly so that you can see what's actually going on there you will see that uh, market this particular point is the all-time high but now market has pushed above it and one way or the other there is another um weekly candle now resting on that particular 
resistance zone now making it a support zone as you can see so this place market is likely to retest uh, uh just like it's doing now with test and then continue its movement to the upside okay that is the uh, obvious fact there but if you now drop down to daily time frame you are able to see this thing very clearly okay this is the high that i was talking about and as you can see that price has actually break above as you can see here break above here okay now it's retesting this place so now that the market is retesting this place you are expected we are expected to see push to the upside okay something like this to the upside but you are not just based on my own uh, the way i treat price okay i won't just drop i won't just jump into this particular market now because i see candle resting on this particular resistance uh, uh, now market is using it as support i won't just jump into it i want to see price the push here i want to see the push that is coming down here you know this is a retracement i want to see this retracement being exhausted how what do i mean i want to see some kind of double bottom i want to see price struggle i want to see something uh, like this you know the price is coming down i want to see it being pushed up and then try to come back again and feel then uh, something like this i want to see double bottoms before i take any entry and that will take me to a lower time frame so that I can see what's playing out around this zone. Okay, let me remove this one so that we can just see things clearly. Okay, so if you come to the 4 hour, now you are able to see things more clearer. Okay, you are able to see things better. Okay, so um, if you look at, uh, if you look at, if you look at uh, the markets now, if you look at the price right now, uh, the price actually pushed down to this point went up then come down again and then give us this hammer here okay and it was after this hammer closes that i entered this market but as you can see right now um the market is still playing around this zone so i hope that the market is going to push to the upside to this particular point okay so um i don't know what will happen yet but that is my uh, take on this okay so that is my take on this so i expect the market to push here and one of the reasons why i i decided to believe that the market is likely to turn from here is because even my rsi is giving me momentum to the upside if i'm correct okay so this is the first uh bottom as you can see here yeah? hold on a minute okay this is what the market is doing but right now i think the market uh, price is actually coming down so so the idea is as you can see uh, i'm seeing momentum initially this is what i saw okay so uh, i i uh, this momentum to the upside so i feel there is momentum that is still likely that is still because this particular move now that is coming down is yet to come down come below this particular bottom here so until it goes below it then this is no longer valid to some extent and then i believe the candle will definitely come down so um so uh, this is the reason I'm buying uh, S&P 500. And this is also similar to what's going on on NASDAQ. So I will be briefing with NASDAQ. But right now, I'm not saying, uh, I'm not saying that uh, uh, the, 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 let me say the Midwest, uh, the Mideast uh, issue that is happening, like I said earlier, is likely to have impact on the market. Okay. It's likely to have strong impact on the stock market. So this is why I'm not too, I'm not too sure of this trade. But nevertheless, I just want to give it a shot, okay? So because uh, my stop loss is set, so whatever happens, I can bear the loss. So that's the thing. So the Israel-Iran war is the only reason I do not trust the stock market to perform well, okay? So the same thing applicable to Nasdaq. So let's check Nasdaq briefly, okay? So Nasdaq too, you can see Nasdaq retraces to a particular resistance as support and you can see my double bottom here okay that is what i always look out for as the price went down here okay uh for go up went down and then give me this particular particular point but i enter as soon as i see this red candle this hammer small hand hammer here formed that is when i enter this market this small hammer uh, and as you can see now the market is just doing um what whatever it wants to do so but for for now i continue to hold the market until my stop loss is hit but now this is the reason i'm buying a nasdaq so now the other asset, asset which uh, has given me more money this uh this week is oil now 
I bought oil, okay. Fundamentally, okay, you know, I always consider fundamental. I always consider fundamental in my trade. I don't just take do some kind of analysis. I don't just do some kind of fundamental analysis and then stop there. No, I don't do that. I always try to I I, I always try to I, I don't do technical and just stop there rather. Sorry. I always ensure that I do fundamental and I make sure that the fundamental agrees to with whatever I, I want I wanted to do. So at the point of at the time of trying to when the price was here, okay, when the price was here, uh the chaos that um the idea that US uh Iran is going to attack Israel was already there and I saw that there is no momentum to the downside. So I was just looking for that opportunity. You can see there is momentum to the upside. So uh, I just took advantage of that. As soon as this thing breaks, that was when, in fact, it has not even break when I took the trade and you can see the momentum to the upside. So I actually existed, I actually took profit here because it's, you know, crude oil is very expensive. So I made a lot of money from here. That was my first take. Then after it retraces down, okay uh i believe technically that probably market is going to retest this place and because of the fact that the tension is high i believe the market is still going to go up so i took another entry around here and my stop loss is just where you can see here so now i'm still in this very trade as i'm talking to you i'm still in the trade because i believe crude oil price is going to get to at least 80 dollar per barrel it's going to get to 80 dollar per barrel Okay, around this place, I believe market is going to get there, but I may not wait there, wait to this place before I take my profits. If the uh, price push to this point, I will take my profit. So if there is any retracement, then I will enter again. But for now, as much as it is, I will continue to trade or buy crude oil, and uh, this is as a result of the tension going on in the Middle East. Okay, that being said, I did just buy technically too. My chart actually, my price actually supports what's going on. The market has been making higher highs, uh, lower lows, lower highs until it got here. And uh, the market made what I refer to as reverse head and shoulder pattern. The path push up, come down, okay, uh, push up, come down, and then make this particular push. So when the price was here, it doesn't matter that it breaks below, okay, it doesn't matter. And as much as I see that there is no momentum here, it gave me a good entry. I want to be, I, I immediately I just see it as, as an opportunity because. First of all, the shoulder doesn't necessarily have to be equal, okay? So it could be like this. So this is a reverse and a shoulder pattern. So my entry is not as a result of this trend line. It's as a result of the fact that I saw the green line. Uh, I saw this line, um, red candle, this very red candle. That, uh, sorry, this green candle that we just gave the week here. That was why I entered. And the fact that there is no momentum here, that was what gave me my entry here. And coupled with my fundamental analysis. So that's why I am seriously on us oil so i will see you in my next video i will talk more about trading and how you can also become successful all right i will talk more so if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe see you in my next uh, video